So let's start animating the airplane. Notice the airplane is a layer, of course. You can click on it in the viewer and move it and put it anywhere you want. So I want to start it from the outside here. Now to start an animation, you need to click on the stopwatch of the property. In our case, it's position. You click on the stopwatch and you have a keyframe created for you. The keyframe means at this time, 0, 0 in our case, Position the layer at these coordinates. Let's go to one second now. Of course, we are working in time here. So after one second, I can click on the layer and just move it to over here. So now we moved in time and we moved the layer. A new keyframe has been created. Let's move again to two seconds. Let's position it, for example, just over here. You can actually click and adjust the keyframes the way you like. After three seconds, just over here, let's put it on this side. And at four seconds, let's do it just here. Let's notice what happened on the viewer here. First of all, a motion path has been created for you. If you scrub, you notice that the layer is moving on this motion path. And then you have some squares on the motion path that represent the keyframes. So we created a certain animation that is not so nice because the airplane is moving in a funny way. And really the motion pass is not that nice. So we need to adjust it. First of all, let's adjust the orientation of the airplane. So notice over here, look, the airplane is going up from the middle. Actually we want it to be oriented on the path. To do that, it's very easy. Just right click on the layer and go to transform. And here you have auto orient. In fact, this is the first tip you are already learning. If you play your animation now, the airplane is quite oriented on the motion path. That's one. Let's select the layer again and you can see the motion path. If you don't, try to play with the toggle over here. It says toggle mask and shape path visibility. If you select a keyframe now, and you notice you have these two circles. These are what we call the handles for a continuous Bezier keyframe. So now you can adjust the motion path the way you'd like. You can click on the keyframe and move it around in space. Okay, we didn't touch anything in time. This one, for example, we can adjust it over here and work on the handles to have a smooth motion path. And if you bring our plane here, we can see the keyframe and adjust it the way you would like. Now we have somehow a better animation. You notice, guys, if you press spacebar to play it, it's really quite cool. Now that we have this animation, we can go back. We can start adding maybe more keyframes. Okay, I'll come to five seconds. I will select the layer to see where the airplane is. And maybe I'll put it over here, another loop. And a six, I'll just take it you know, just over here maybe. And then at seven, I wanted to exit. I can come back and adjust the motion path the way I would like and the position of the keyframes if you want to. Okay, let's make it this small looping. Now, let's go back to the beginning. Press this select by pressing in an empty space. Press the space bar to start our animation. Here you are guys, in a few minutes, you have created quite an animation and you can adjust it the way you would like. Now let me show you a few things here. For example, let's select the layer and I would like it between this keyframe and this keyframe to move a bit at a higher speed. So we're talking about this keyframe and this one. So all I have to do is to make the distance in between the keyframes a bit smaller. And here you are. If you try to play it now, you notice that in between the section, it's now smaller. Pretty cool, by the way. Let's do the same for another. For example, when it comes up or it comes down here, let's make this distance smaller. So actually, we're reducing the time in between keyframes. And here you are. You can now notice that it's going to go faster over here, of course, which is pretty cool. So actually, it's, it's very easy to create animations in After Effects, and it's very easy to manipulate the motion pass as you have seen. 
So guys, now it's your turn. It's up to you now to open After Effects. If you haven't done so, create this kind of animation, make it, for example, moving left, right. I don't know. You know, be very creative, play with the keyframes, adjust them over here, adjust the motion path. It's very important that you get to be very comfortable with this kind of animation and the keyframes, mainly with position and also the motion path itself. Okay, guys, so I will see you in the next lecture.